What's up YouTube? Welcome to the channel. My name is Fareed and in today's video I want to talk to you guys about a brand new decentralized storage protocol coming to the Cardano blockchain called Iagon. If you've never heard of Iagon before, they are a cloud storage protocol built for Web3. Their goal is to make it easy for everyone to participate in their decentralized cloud storage network in order to earn from it. The Iagon protocol will be fully decentralized in order to make sure that the users who are using the platform are in full control of their data at all times. They also aim to provide the highest level of security through the use of encryption, encoding, and sharding techniques. In today's video, I want to take a quick look at the Iagon website and some of the services that they offer. I also want to talk about their core storage solution, which is basically how they plan on running their decentralized network. And then once we wrap that up, I want to quickly touch on their payment system and basically how they plan on rewarding their storage providers. And then at the very end of this video, I want to quickly touch on the IAG tokenomics as well as their recently announced ISPO. In order to access the Iagon website, we're going to navigate to iagon.com. From the main page of the website, you can find out more about how the Iagon protocol works. You can also find out about additional products that they plan on offering, such as Agora, which will be a public storage platform. And then on top of that, if you're interested in exactly how you can earn by using the protocol, you can hover over the earn section. Now, if you're more technical and you want to read their white paper, that is also available under the technology section. And then if you want to find out more about the team, which is fully doxxed, you can find out more about them by using the about us section. Now that we got that out the way, let's take a look at the Iagon core storage solution to see exactly how the protocol is going to work. As an end user on the Iagon protocol, the first step of the process is going to be to encrypt whatever file I upload or you upload to the protocol. Once you upload a file to the Iagon protocol, it's automatically going to get encrypted with the highest encryption standards. This will allow for the encryption to be practically unbreakable by today's computing standards. Once your data or file is encrypted, it's then going to be encoded with error correction code. An error correcting code or ECC is an encoding scheme that transmits messages as binary numbers in such a way that the message can be recovered even if some bits are erroneously flipped. They're used in practically all cases of message transmission, especially in data storage where ECCs defend against data corruption. Once your data is encrypted and encoded, it's then going to be split up into shards and distributed for security and availability. The shards are then distributed across the Iagon network based on criteria given by the user. Once your data has been stored, you'll be able to change some of the file access settings associated with it as well as retrieve it in the future using an NFT receipt. The last piece of the core storage solution is that no one at any time will ever have any control over your data except for you. This includes Iagon or any local governments. When using the platform, your data will truly be yours. Next, I want to talk about how you can earn or get paid when using the Iagon protocol. Before we talk numbers, I do want to quickly explain exactly what a resource provider is and how the node network will work. And so a resource provider will be anyone who provides storage capacity in the marketplace as a resource provider. Now this can be a data center or a private user with spare storage space. The Iagon rewarding mechanism will ensure that only the best service providers sell their storage to consumers. In other words, any suboptimal storage providers are accountable for their poor quality of their service and might not be able to monetize the shared storage economy. When it comes to accessing the node network, anyone with access to the open source software will be able to create a node using the Iagon network. The team did state that initially they plan on focusing on enterprise or professional grade storage providers before focusing on private ones. When it comes to how rewards will be paid out on the platform, the Iagon team will be using stable coins as a default means of payment to trade between storage providers and consumers. Now, if you're wondering if a storage provider can earn IAG or Iagon tokens, the answer to that is yes. By agreeing to an extra verification process, you can become eligible to earn extra rewards in the form of Iagon's IAG token as an incentive to continue using the network. 
Now, one thing to keep in mind is that this particular reward will be on top of the stable coin payout. When it comes to how rewards are gonna be calculated on the Iagon platform, they're gonna be using four different criterias when it comes to being a storage provider. The first is gonna be demand and supply or supply and demand. And so based on exactly how much storage there is available, we could see the price of storage either increase or decrease. On top of that, they're also gonna be judging you as a storage provider based on your uptime. And so that's exactly how long your particular storage is actually available when people need to actually use it. You're also gonna be judged on your performance as a storage provider. And so the performance includes your bandwidth, latency, internet speeds, devices, and the use of green energy. The last criteria is gonna be the network commission. And so Iagon is gonna charge a commission fee on each payment to provide means for maintenance and development of the service, as well as rewards for IAG token holders contributing to the platform. Next, I wanna to quickly touch on the tokenomics surrounding the IAG token. When it comes to the total supply of the Iagon token, there's only ever gonna be a total supply of 1 billion tokens. Now, of that 1 billion tokens, we've seen about 18.5% go back to the team. We've also seen 35.5% go back to the Iagon Foundation, which is gonna be used in order to improve the software as the protocol ages. And then we've seen the remaining 46% go to public sales um, as well as seed investing round. The Iagon token will have a linear distribution and the token actually launched in July of 2021. And so we can expect that in 37 months that the total supply, which again is 1 billion tokens, will fully be in circulation. When it comes to utility for Iagon token holders, they're gonna be able to earn rewards through staking. They're also gonna earn a portion of the protocol fees. And then on top of that, a portion of the protocol's Iagon tokens will be paid out to well-performing storage providers. The last thing I wanna to touch on is the Iagon ISPO. If you've never heard of an ISPO before, that's gonna be an initial stake pool offering. This is gonna give the general public or the community an opportunity to basically invest in a project before it launches. Right now, the Iagon ISPO is currently ongoing and throughout the ISPO period, they're gonna be rewarding the community or early investors in the Iagon protocol a total of 70 million Iagon tokens. The ISPO started on April 20th and it's gonna be running until all of the Iagon tokens have been distributed. In the interest of time, I'm not gonna be able to cover all of the details surrounding the Iagon ISPO. However, within the next coming weeks, I will be releasing a fully dedicated video covering it. That's gonna wrap it up for today's review of the Iagon protocol. Again, they're gonna be a decentralized solution coming to Cardano. If you found some of today's information to be helpful, please make sure to tap that like button. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. And if you have any questions or comments, please make sure you leave those down below. I'll see you guys in the next video.